We used to sing a song in church. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. You know who wrote that song? It was the ex-captain of a ship that was bringing black slaves from Africa to North America. And he converted eventually to Christianity. The words were written by the captain of the ship when he became a Christian. But the melody was hummed by the Africans who were miserable and being tortured by being in the belly of the ship on a horrible journey to North America where they were to be enslaved as the property of Christians. Ah, 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 ah. The sacred song of some group of people from somewhere in Africa, unknown and anonymous, suffering, driven by someone who becomes a Christian and wants to atone for what he's done, steals their melody and puts it on a song. Do you see the irony? This is the irony of Christianity. It's mostly practiced by sincere people because Jesus talks about loving, but they had not behaved in a loving way. Christianity was one of the religions who burned libraries and destroyed the paraphernalia of worship for other cultures. I watched Vietnam in horror. And you know, we were doing that in the name of God. We were carpet bombing women and children and innocent people and saying, God bless America. Something is terribly wrong. So if you're listening to me right now and you're a sincere Christian, namaste. I send you love and respect. But I'm sorry, you must see what was done in the name of loving Jesus. And you must face that. And in my opinion, you should say to the world, we are so sorry. We as Christians will never behave that way again. You need to take a vow that you will never do what your ancestors did. The amount of bloodshed that the Christian religion has in its history and library burning and persecution is actually just a horror story.